today's class we're going to discuss about the sap users so basically in sap there are two types of users one is the end user and the other one is the consultant so we're going to see where the sap user works and where the sap consultant works so our sap end user basically works on the sap easy access screen and the consultants works on the sap spr screen so the sap end users performs their day-to-day -day transactions the, as in they post the accounting entries they do the reporting and all on the sap easy access screen and the consultants on the spr screen do the configuration so let's move on to the sap screen and let's see the sap easy access screen and the spr screens and we'll also talk about the basics of the sap screen okay so let's move on to the sap screen okay so you can see this is the sap screen so on the top we can see the menu bar then we have the command box then you can see these tools these are basically the tools bar the icons which you can see these are basically the tools bar we're going to discuss more about these options how it works then we have the sap uh, menu bar where you can see there are different options available under the menu section and then we have the favorites I will talk about the favorites also what uh, and how you can use the favorites so the favorite is basically used to add the uh, the t codes the transaction codes which are you're going to perform on a daily basis right so we're going to discuss about the favorites as well and uh, okay so let, let's move ahead so in sap you can see this is basically the sap easy access screen where the sap end users works okay so for the SAP FICU uh, users, so they need to go on to accounting, then financial accounting, then you can see they have the option of general ledger, then postings. So you can see these, these FB50, or let's suppose F-02, or these, these options which you can see, these are called the T codes, right? These are the tran transactions code. So this is the T code and this is the description of this T code. So if you click on this T code, you would land up to this option, this page. What does it say? So it says enter GL account. So you can post the GL entries using this T code. So if I click on this T code, let's suppose if I click on FB50, it will take me to this page. I have to enter the company code is asking for the company code. So let me enter any of the company code okay and let me go ahead okay so this is basically the uh, fb50 screen so once you double click on that option on the t code you would land up to this page okay so let's go back okay so this is basically the t codes where in the sap end user would work right you can click on any of the t codes which you want to uh, perform so for incoming payments you can click on this option and you would link land up to the incoming payments page so wherein you can input all these uh, options and you can perform the transaction so basically this is the activity which is performed by the end user right for the outgoing payments you can simply click on this option and you will end up to the outgoing pay, uh, payment process page okay okay so let's move on to the next option so this is basically the transactions code and this is basically the, its description so you can simply come to this page either uh, executing these options and you would land up to this page or you can simply enter any of the t codes which you want on this command box this is basically the command box you need to simply enter this any of the t codes you want to land up to on this command box page and you would land up to this, that page so let's suppose i went to the fp50 through this option and simply if i type it here f dash i suppose for incoming payment 06 okay and if i hit enter so you can see i land up to this page so basically you need to know the t codes if you know if you know the t codes you can simply click that t 
T code in this command box and you would land up to that page. We would uh, be discussing more about the T codes, what is a T code, how this T code works, what are different types of T codes which are used in the FICO module. We're going to discuss in details about uh, the T codes and the transactions code okay, in the upcoming classes. So this was uh, about the T codes. So let's suppose if you go to documents, you can uh, use these these T codes for park documents you can these uh, transactions code so basically these are the transactions code T codes we call it in short but these are the transactions code so either you can come through this path or you can enter these T code in the command box and you would land up to that page okay so this was all about the menu options so there are many options available under the accounting sections you have uh, uh, postings then you have document account master records for reporting you can see uh, the end users can use uh, the uh, reporting options they have the other sub modules as in accounts payable accounts receivable banks right for incoming for outgoing all these options are available so they can execute either through the path they can come through this path and they can execute the T code or either they can simply execute this four digit in the command box and they would be able to land up to that page so it's very easy right once you are uh, using it you would be uh, you, you would know how to execute these t codes and i will share the list of transactions codes which are gonna used on a day-to-day -day basis when you are working on a live project okay so this is one option when wherein you can come to uh, these transactions let's suppose if you want to come to this transactions you can use the path and you can come come to this uh, option or either you can simply enter the transactions code in the command box and you would land up to that page that was one option okay and uh, let's suppose if you are frequently using any of the transaction so you can simply drag this, this option to your favorite sections favorites is 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 basically uh, a folder wherein you can keep your favorite T codes so that you don't have to come to this path again and again you simply uh, can go to the favorites and you can simply execute that particular T code so let's suppose if I and execute FB50 on a daily basis so I would simply drag it and I would keep it in the favorite section so you can see this this is available there now so if I you want to use FB F-004 I will simply drag it and I will put it in the favorite section so you can see it's very easy that I am able to keep these these options and these transactions code in the favorite section so simply if you want to uh, execute any T code you want to use any T code you you use on a daily basis you can simply drag from that option and you can simply uh, keep it on your favorite sections so one of the options is you can simply drag it from and the steps which are are here on the from the path let's suppose if you want to use any of the transaction any of the t codes you can simply drag it and you can keep it on your favorite section so favorites is basically you can see a folder wherein you can keep all your all your uh, t codes list so that you don't have to come to this path so now where if, if i kept uh, these many transactions under the favorites so i know that these are the transactions which i'm going to use regularly so i don't have to go to this path i will simply click on this option and i would land to this page so let's suppose if i click on f-07 so you can see i would land up to this page so it's very easy and it's good that you keep your transactions code uh, in the four favorite section so that you don't have to come to this steps you can simply click on the favorites and you would land up to the page you wherein you want to perform your transaction so one is one of the option is to simply drag it from here and you can keep it in the favorite section and the other option is on the favorites on the top you can simply go and you can add any of the transaction which you want to add so let's suppose if you go to favorites you can add okay the position exists the menu tray uh, okay so here insert transaction so here you need to click on insert transaction okay 
so simply click on insert transaction and if you know any transactions code which you want to add in the favorite section so you simply click that transaction code let's suppose if i click fb60 uh, and if i hit the ok button you can see the fb60 is added here and i would be able to execute that i could simply enter the the company code i would hit enter and i would land up to the page so it's very easy it's very easy you can add any of the transactions you, you want or uh, under your favorite sections under your favorites folders you can simply click on favorites let me tell you one more time right so simply go to favorites click on insert transaction and you simply click the t code which you want let's suppose now if i want to execute fb70 and i click either click on continue or you can hit enter you would see that you have got that transaction code under your favorite section so this is how you can add the t codes under your favorites under your favorite section so that, that this was uh, about how to add the t codes into your favorites and now we're going to discuss how you can remove it let's suppose if you don't want any of this uh, t codes into your favorite section so you can simply click here and you can click on delete delete favorites so you can simply delete it so that would get removed from that section so you can so now you know how to add and how to remove any of the t codes from the favorites okay so we were discussing about the favorites now let's move on to uh, the uh, the sessions which are available on this sap easy access screen so basically there are six sessions which you can open on the sap easy access screen so this is the one session which is which is open so you click on a create new session and you simply click on it so it will open a new session okay so you can see this is a new page so if you have six pages available so maximum you can open six pages so six pages if if it's available so you can perform uh, all the activities on all the six pages right so in the same way like uh, if you search anything on our web browser so if you click on the next tab next page so we are able to access anything on any of the pages in the same way here also if, if there are six uh, sessions available so you can perform any of the activities on any of the six sessions so i have opened two and uh, let's suppose let me click uh, one more it's three then it is four then i have opened five and then i have opened six okay now it says maximum number of sessions reached so i have opened six sessions on this SAP Easy Access screen. So you can see on my screen there are six sessions available open. So one, two, three, four, five and six. I've opened six sessions and if I want to perform anything I can perform in any of the screens. So you can perform any of the transaction in any of the screens. Right. So that is uh, one of the uh, best thing I can I can see. I must say on this SAP Easy Access screen, right? So you can perform any of the transaction in any of these sessions. So maximum you can open six sessions on this SAP Easy Access screen. So one more time, let me tell you that this is the screen where the end user would work, right? In the first, in the beginning, I said there are two types of users. One is the SAP end user and the other one is the consultant. So now the screen which I am uh, uh, you know you're able to view you're able to see this is the screen where in the SAP end user would work right and uh, let's move on to the next uh, option uh, in this toolbar so uh, okay so you have we have the customized layout option okay so let's see what all options are available in this customized uh, layout so in this customize uh, layout you can click on options so you would land up to this page where you would be able to customize the screen as per your requirement so you can increase the size of the fonts you can uh, change the layout of the screen you can change the color of the screen so this is basically 
uh, customize layout screen wherein you can change the visualization of the screen as per your requirement you can customize it right so you can see these are the options available so themes so now we are on the SAP signature theme so if I change if I click any other theme so it will change the and the, the theme of this screen okay so we're not going to change the theme font font settings you know uh, like you change the font size so you can change the size of these fonts you can change the design of this fonts okay so branding is here uh, uh, on this screen you can see this blue water uh, kind of thing so here you would see the logo of the company so if you are working for any of the company let's suppose if you are working for Tata or Reliance or any big brand or any small companies who are having SAP so they would keep a logo their logo on this screen so you can add the logo as well so that is not basically done by you that is developed by the uh, the vapor right we're going to discuss more about the vapor right there are other consultants as the basis consultants we have the ABAP consultants with whom with together we are we are going to work in any of the projects okay color settings so here you can change the colors in the system so there are different colors which can be changed okay so color you can change the color as well right uh, now I don't see the options to change the color so basically uh, there are options where you can change the color as well okay so it's giving me an error here so basically uh, you can also change the color so now it's, the, it's, it's, it's in blue you can change the color in purple or in any other color you can change it so these are the actually the customizing options you can customize the screen as per your requirement as per your convenience you can uh, change the layout of the screen so this uh, was uh, the option which is available here which is the customized local layout so you can simply click on the customized local layout you can simply go to options and then you would be able to see these many options so this is basically the customizing option you can customize your screen as per your requirement so let's move on to the next and let's discuss one more option which is available here which is uh, if you go to extras and if you go to settings so click on settings so you would see these four options available so these are four options which is uh, available on this screen so first of all let's see the first option which says display favorites at the end of the list so now here you can see the favorites is on the top and the SAP menu is in the uh, second so here it says display favorites at the end of the list so this favorites would come on uh, on the bottom and the SAP menu will go on the top let's 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 uh, apply this let's click on it let's see what it happens okay so now you can see the SAP menu has gone up and the favorites has, has come down okay so again we will move on to extras we'll go to settings and here if we gonna remove this option okay if we, if we gonna remove this option this display favorites at the end of the list so let's click on apply and let's see what it happens okay so now again it has come back to its normal stage now again we have the favorites on the top and the SAP menu on the bottom so let's again click on the extras go to settings and we would see the next option so it says do not display menu only display favorites so when we click on this option it would only show us the favorites it won't show us the menu screen on this SAP easy access screen okay so let's click on this option and let's see okay so now when I select that option you can see you would only be able to see the favorites on the screen you won't be able to see the SAP menu on the screen okay I think that, that that's uh, very good features right so these are basically uh, the activities which can be performed by the end users the consultant is not required to perform these activities the screens the, which I have showed the customizing options the favorites the these options the settings options that can be performed by the SAP easy access screen 
because this screen is basically accessed by the end user they would be having the access they would be able to perform these activities which i'm performing right now in front of this in front of you and right now uh, on this screen okay so again if i remove this stick and if i click on this option so again it would come up back to the uh, same option okay so let's move on to the third option let's see what are the, what does it say so it says do not do not display picture if i click on this as there is no picture available right now so if there would have been any picture on this screen let's suppose if there would have any picture here so if we would have clicked on do not display picture it would have removed that picture then again if we would have uh, removed that this option it would have displayed that so this is how this option works right so basically this display option is for the display of the logo which is reflected on this screen okay now let's move on to the fourth option which says the display technical names okay so remember i, I have showed few options when where when we were discussing about the transactions codes okay so these t codes are basically the technical names okay so here here now you can see there are no technical names available there is no t codes so where earlier we would uh, we can see fb50 and other t codes on that on the screen but this is not available now so we go to settings we click on display technical names if you click on display technical names it would show us the technical names the t codes the transactions code we which which we would be able to see now so now now we are going to accounting say financial accounting say general ledger posting so now you can see these are the transactions codes which are available so if we click on let's go to extras then settings and if you click on the display technical name if you click on this option display technical name you would be able to see these technical names right in front of the description which is available on the sap easy access screen and it's not only for this for any of the transactions code which is available there you would be able to see the technical names when you select this option display technical names so these are the basics these are the very basics assuming that there are students who are not at all aware of the sap easy access screen there are users who are working as an accountant or 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 uh, they have never seen on uh, the sap easy access access screen and so this is for those now uh, with this class i i hope uh, you would uh, get an idea about how the sap looks like and how the sap easy access screen looks like so those who are going to work as an sap end user would be able to perform on this sap easy access screen right next we're going to discuss about the sap spro screen where the consultants would would work right and how the configuration settings are done we're going to discuss about that on the spro screen okay so that was a basic overview about the sap easy access screen how the sap easy access screen looks like and how and where the sap end user would would work okay so once you complete your sap fic your module so either you can choose an option to become an end user or either you can choose an option to become a consultant so if you choose an option to become an end user and if you get selected as an end user so you would be performing all your transactions on this sap easy access screen okay and if you are selected if you want to go uh, with the profile of a consultant so you would work on the sap spro screen so uh, on, on uh, next we're going to discuss about the sap spro uh, screen how it looks like and how and where the consultant performs the configuration okay so let, let's move on to the spro screen so to move on to the spro screen so first of all we simply need to click the spro t code t code in the command box so simply click spro on the command box and hit enter so once we hit enter we would land up to the to this page which says customizing execute project so simply click on sap reference img so img stands for implementation guide so simply click on img so once you click on the img you can see 
these are the options available so here not only fi there are other modules there are other consultants who works as in the fi consultant the co consultant the the pp consultant the mm consultant the sd consultant there are all other consultants there are all many other modules available in sap so for all the the modules the consultants would land up to this page for doing the configuration okay we will discuss more about what all are the different types of the different types of uh, modules available in sap and what all are the different types of uh, uh, projects we have already covered in our previous classes so on this screen you can see that there are many options are available so depending on the consultants which you are either if you are you are a fi consultant or ca consultant or sd or mm consultant so depending on your profile you would be working on these options so as now we are discussing about the fi so for fi on the configuration part i will be covering covering the entire configuration from end to end from the enterprise structure to the gl ap asset creation ar and what all are the sub modules we are going to cover all the modules in our class right so let me just take you uh, through the spr screen let me just introduce you the basics of the spr screen how the sap consultant would work and what activities they're going to perform so this is basically the spro screen wherein the consultant would work so let me take you through the uh, the t codes which are available here so on this screen you can see these many options are available so simply uh, if a consultant would do a settings of the enterprise structure they would simply click on the enterprise structure then they would go to definition then they would go to financial accounting and you can see these are the options available for doing the uh, configuration of an enterprise structure so here under the definitions they would define the company they would define the credit control area the business area they would define it once they are done with the uh, defining of the enterprise structure they would do the assignment so they would assign all the different uh, all all the options which were defined under the assignment options of assign company code to company company code to credit control area so they would do the assignment so this is the first step of the uh, configuration which is performed by the sap fi uh, co consultant right so either they can path can they can come and they would do a configuration through this path so they would come to enterprise structure then they would go to definition and they they would go to financial accounting and they would define it right or either they can use the transactions code the same way which we which we uh, you know uh, see how the sap uh, or end user would work with the help of the t codes in the same way the consultant will also perform the configuration with the help of the t codes the transactions codes so here the on the additional information so how you can see the t codes so you can simply click on the additional information go to additional information then display keys then img activities so you can note it down these options if you are new and if you want to learn the configuration so you can see the path you can note it down if you want so it's the additional information then display keys then img activity so you can simply go and you can follow this path so if you want to see the transaction code so either you can come through the path or you can see the transaction code here and you can execute the transaction code so, so that you can land up to that page so simply go to img activity and once you click on the img activity you could see the list of transaction code right next to these options for defined company you can see the t codes for credit control area you can see the t codes so the last four digit which is ox15 is the t code to define company the last four digit which is ob45 is the t code to define the credit control area the last four digit which is ox02 is the t code to define the company code so if you want to uh, do the configuration right so you can either come through this path or you can simply click on the t code and you can land up to the page okay let me just show you one example so let's suppose if you come through this path and if you have clicked on define company okay so once you click on define company so you click on new entries 
you would be able to see this is the configuration which you need to do to define a company right so here you would define the company so you came through the path you came through the path and you'll end up with that page okay the next option is you can simply click on the t code which is ox15 so i already uh, uh, told you that you can land up to that page by simply executing the t code in the command box so for me the t code to define a company is ox15 or let's suppose if i want to define any of these options any of this configuration op option i would simply click on the any of the last four digit from these letters you can simply click the last four digit on the command box and you would land up to that page okay so let's suppose if i have to define company i would simply click ox15 and i would land up to that page so already we have six sessions open so let me click any of the session and you would be able to see that i have landed up to that page so in the command box let me click ox15 so i have typed in ox15 i would simply uh, hit enter so you simply click ox15 is the t code to define company which we have already seen in the spro screen now we are going to do the configuration we are going to create the enterprise structure and the first step which we are doing is to define the company and we are defining that company with the help of the t code which we are going to execute in the command box okay so i have opened a new session and here i'm going to execute the t code ox15 in the command box and i have entered the t code and click click enter in after entering the t code okay so see you can land up to this page simply click on new entries and you would land up to this page and you can create you can define your company let's move on to our, our spr screen so this is all about the spr screen so i have uh, overviewed about the sap screen how the end user would work how the spr uh, uh, consultant the sap consultant would work the sap ec access screen and uh, we have discussed about the spr screen so that's that was a, a basic overview about the SAP Easy Access screen and the SAP SPRO screen. So in the upcoming classes, we would be discussing more about the configuration. So in uh, our from our next classes, we would be uh, we would be uh, knowing how to do the configuration for the enterprise structure for the global parameters. How we would uh, define the global parameters. Uh, from the SAP FICO side, how we would do the configuration of the AP module, the AR module, asset module, banking. So, what all are the sub modules which are available in the SAP FICO controlling, uh, budgeting? So, we have a lot more to learn uh, in the SAP. So, we would be discussing all these in our upcoming classes. So, for uh, today, we are uh, uh, so, so today we have uh, seen the SAP Easy Access screen and the SPR screen. So, hope uh, you would like this video. And if you like it, uh, kindly uh, share and subscribe my channel. So, thank you for watching.